What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Top Notes. We're going to be checking out Bulgari's Aqua Pour Ohm today. This is an Oda Toilette and it's a 30 mil. I picked this guy up for, I think it was around 40 bucks. Um, but yeah, as always, I'll throw links in the description if you end up being interested. Um, so here's my review, you know, I've sprayed it and smelled it on myself a couple of times already so that I could get a, get a read on longevity and all that stuff for you. The box itself, nothing special. It's actually pretty uh, old school looking. It just says Aqua Pour Homme. Um, and there's a lot of flankers out because this was released in 2005, guys. So it's been out for a while. I know it feels crazy, but it's 19 years ago that this came out. Um, so 2005 was 19 years ago already. So anyway, uh, the notes of this fragrance are mandarin orange, orange, and pedigrain. Uh, middle notes of seaweed, lavender, and cotton flower. And then base notes of Virginia cedar, woody notes, patchouli, clary sage, and amber. Okay, so kind of old school aquatic sounding notes as well. Here's the bottle. The bottle also has kind of an old school look to it. Uh, it looks like something out of the 90s or the 80s even. Um, so it says Bulgal Bulgari on it and then Aqua Pour Ohm. Uh, take off the cap here. It's kind of a cheaper plastic cap. Don't really like that. Um, and then here is the atomizer. Eh, it's actually not a bad atomizer. Um, so yeah, pretty decent atomizer there. It's got nice blue glass to it. We'll give it a smell here. All right. So here's the deal, guys. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you here. I feel like the projection and the performance of this fragrance are just not worth it. Uh, they don't match up with a lot of the other aquatic fragrances of the time, you know. We're even looking older uh, at things like Aqua de Geo. That was what, 96, 95, something like that. Um, and then even like Aqua de Geo Profondo and Profumo and all those, they last longer and they project more. People are saying that this is moderate projection, but I don't agree. I feel like this is more intimate. And I've compared it with other fragrances too, and I, I don't think I'm tripping on this one. I don't think that the, the performance of this one is very good. Um, as far as what you smell here, yeah, sure, you get some of this orange and the pedigree in the top notes, but mostly what we're getting is this lavender and this seaweed, you know, sort of aquatic notes. Um, but it's not, they're not using Seaweed Absolute, guys, don't worry. Uh, when you do perfumery and you, you work with stuff like Seaweed Absolute, the real deal, it doesn't actually, it does not smell very good. Uh, even when used in small amounts, it's, 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 they're not using that. They're using some general aquatic notes, you know, Calone for sure, Aquamate, something like that, uh, you know, Floralazone, something like that. So, you know, uh, I... I think it's mostly just this seaweed and lavender, just a general aquatic, um, and they didn't really dose it very heavily. Base notes, we don't get a whole lot of the patchouli. We don't get a whole lot of the amber. It's mostly just sort of a nice dry, cedary, you know, dry down. But again, it, it, it fades very quickly, um, both on your skin. I've used it on my skin and on the, on the blotter here. So uh, as far as cotton flower goes, I don't really smell that. I'm not sure what cotton flower smells like. Uh, let me know in the comments if you know what a cotton flower smells like. I've been doing perfumery for like six or seven years now. I've never worked with that. I, I don't really know what that is. Um, so yeah, to be fair, I, I you know it's not a bad fragrance, but I really don't think that it's worth your money. And it's definitely blind by safe, but I really I think I would get my nose on some of the newer flankers. I know people love this like Aqua uh, Atlantique. People have been talking about that, some of the other YouTubers. So maybe I would check that one out. But this one, I would say save your money. I don't think it's worth it. So if you like this sort of content, um, you know, just leave a comment, uh, leave some love, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. You know, it's a, it's a spring, summer fragrance. But again, I, I wouldn't really recommend picking one up. So let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.